Well, uh, before we go too much further, Jim, let me hit you with a couple of things real quick that are just in the news. Get your thoughts. I just got an email from WWE Communications. WWE offers U.S. military service members and veterans complimentary WWE live event tickets. WWE is proud to support our nation's military service members and veterans and has always offered active duty service members the opportunity to see a show as our guest. In celebration of Veterans Day this November, WWE is extending the complimentary ticket offer to include all veterans with a valid veteran ID. Find an upcoming WWE live event in your hometown at WWE.com. This offer can be redeemed at the venue box office on the day of the show only and is valid for one complimentary ticket while supplies last. Any thoughts on this? You know, that's actually a wonderful thing for them to do. And you can't even... At first, I was thinking, well, who's the sponsor? They're going to say in partnership with Skittles or whatever, but they didn't do that. And it's not like they're having trouble selling tickets these days and they need a crowd or they need to paper the building. So that's not the ulterior motive. So maybe they're just, they're just being nice. Imagine that. The new ownership, uh, you know, maybe this is a honeymoon period where they actually act like human beings. Then we'll probably revert to the previous, you know, attitudes. But uh, no, I think that that's commendable of them to do something like that. Now, I'll tell you what, you get some of those rowdy World War II veterans in the building, they're going to cause some trouble. Somebody might get stabbed. Think about that. Imagine if you're 97 years old, Brian. You haven't seen a show since Bill Longson was the world champion? Yeah, they're liable to fucking lose control of themselves, go over the rail, hit the ring, cause some trouble. Might have to double security. Might have to watch. This is going to start happening. 